Hey, what's up you guys? It's Connor and today I'm going to be doing a book review for Simon Thorne and the Wolf's Den by Amy Carter. I requested this book from the publisher and was sent it in exchange for possibly reviewing it. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I was actually sent the sequel for this book as well, but I've decided that I'm going to do individual book reviews because... Oh, there he is. He gets a treat. I feel like I'm promoting bad behavior from you. <laughs> I decided I was just going to review this first book for you guys now and possibly review the second book right before it comes out in February because I don't know how many books are going to be in the series and so I can't do a full series review when not all the books are out. So I'll just be reviewing this book today. This book follows a boy named Simon Thorne. At the beginning of the book, he's living with his uncle and he's not doing too great in school friend-wise. He is just kind of weird and people don't like him and these kids are bullying him and calling him a psycho because he is able to talk to animals. And even his best friend, who he's been friends with for years, has abandoned him and so he's completely on his own in school now. On his first day of school, it goes absolutely terribly and he comes home to find his mother has reappeared from being gone for over a year. His mother kept in contact. It wasn't like she was just missing for a year, but she had not seen Simon in over a year. Simon's mother is then promptly kidnapped by rats, and so then Simon has to figure out what the heck is going on. Simon then finds out that his entire family are what's called animal gams. Ugh, I don't know if that's what it is. Animal gams? Animal gams. One of those two. Which means that everyone in his family are able to turn into different animals. There are a lot of people that can turn into animals in this world, and so they're separated into five kingdoms. Mammals, flying animals, so birds, insects, water creatures, and reptiles. Because his mother was kidnapped, then Simon has to go on an adventure to try to save his mother and figure out where he fits into this Five Kingdom Animal Gam world. None of that was a spoiler, that was all in this blurb. So as usual with my book reviews, I'm gonna go through my pros and then my cons, rating, be done. My first pro is gonna be Simon. I really love that he is family oriented and so he is highly motivated by keeping his family safe and keeping his family together. When his mother is kidnapped by rats, he immediately goes on the hunt trying to rescue his mother from these rats. And he's always trying to look out for the people that he loves. And I really love that about him. That being said, I feel like a lot of middle grade characters are motivated by that. And obviously that's a good thing, but I really like the fact that Simon isn't perfect. He's also super naive. Him not knowing much about this world, he doesn't really fully understand how it works and who to trust and who not to trust. And so I really liked that he was naive. Like he didn't just know things to know things. He had to struggle and figure stuff out and make mistakes. And I really liked seeing that throughout the novel. Another thing that I really liked was the concept of the world. I really liked the five kingdoms. I really liked that it wasn't just these specific groups in each of the kingdoms. Like it wasn't like all of the mammals turn into wolves. There are people that can turn into rats. There are people that can turn into bears. There are people that can turn into mountain lions. So it was really cool to see all of these different animals all in the same book. I'm a huge animal lover and, and this takes place partially in the Central Park Zoo. So, so I really like seeing actual animals and as well as all these people turn into animals and how being a certain animal affected how they thought about the world and their different abilities when they were in their human form. Yeah, really liked the concept of the world. This book is super fast paced and that's another pro for me is that I really like fast paced middle grade books. I find them so much fun. The adventure in this is non-stop and I really liked the mystery aspect as well where Simon doesn't really know who to trust. Throughout the book you're weighing back and forth these two different main sides, which one's right and which one's wrong and you don't know really which it is and neither does Simon and so you're trying to figure it out as he's trying to figure out and I thought that that was really fun. And my last pro for this book is that the direction of the story is something that I'm really, really interested in. I'm going to be reading the second book here soon because I found the ending of this book to be exactly how I wanted it to be almost. Like I didn't want it to be exactly like this, but I think that it is so interesting and I'm so excited to see where everything is going to be headed that I'm definitely, definitely continuing with the series soon. Now onto my cons. Because Simon is naive, I feel like he trusts too quickly. In my experience, someone that is being bullied in everyday life, school, and everything. They don't trust people as much, and so Simon trusting all these people like that was really strange to me. The book only takes place over the course of two days, and so for Simon to start trusting this huge group of people was strange for me. I don't know why he trusted them so immediately, but that was something that I thought was strange because trust was lost and gained super quick th throughout this book. Also, Simon for being very family oriented, decidedly never listened to his family. Every time they told him to do something, he was like, no, I can't. And he would do the opposite, and I was like, no, just listen to your mother. Like, just listen to your mom. 
listen to your uncle. The ones that raised you probably know best. <laughs> but he just wouldn't do it. So that was like frustrating for me and I'm hoping throughout the series that he will learn that he should probably listen to his guardians a little bit better. <laughs> and my last con was that there's a magic school in this book, so all of the children animal gams all come to the Central Park Zoo for the school. That's not a spoiler, that's in the blurb as well. But I thought that the school was a little bit underdeveloped. You didn't really know how the school was set up besides there being a headmaster and possibly some teachers and this thing called the pit. I don't think there is one class that ever happens throughout this whole book. There's a school but there's no classes, so it was really weird that it was a school and there was no classes and the teachers were barely there or barely involved and all the students were running all over the place. So I think that the school could have been more concrete and more developed. So overall, I did really enjoy the book. I thought the fast paced adventure mystery was enough to overcome some of those faults of the school not being as well developed as I would have liked. I ended up giving this book four stars. I'm really excited to continue with the series. It's a very fun middle grade adventure story. And I think that Simon's friends that he met at that school are going to be bigger roles in the future of the books, and so I'm really excited to see how that all plays out. That's going to be my little review on Simon Thorne and the Wolves' Den. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you've read this book. Are you interested in reading it? Have you read anything by Amy Carter? I read The Goddess Test by her and enjoyed it. If you could shift into any animal, what would you want it to be? And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!